Hey everyone, let's play some games. Today we are playing the Shaman. Earth and fire. In the arena. It got by far the most votes, so that's what we're gonna go with. And we have an excellent card to start out with. That's a trick. Probably, well, you know. It's not as good as the Fire Elemental, but it's definitely one of the better arena cards. Defender of Arcus, very good in Shaman, since you're pretty likely to have some minions and Worst case, you can always make a totem to pair it up with. Then we have a weapon. Hmm. I think we're gonna pick that. And we have a pretty good 5 drop. Yeah, let's take it. And then we have a, an even better 5 drop. Alright. Another 5 drop. Hmm. Maybe we should go for 2 drop this time. Just because we are. Uh, I mean, we need some two drops, so let's go for that. Uh, another Spectral Knight. Okay, we're getting a bit high on five drops, but we're getting so many good ones. Okay, let's get a Hex. And... Mm, lightning Bolt. Removal. Very nice two drop. Hmm. Oh, let's get some removal. We don't have any yet other than Hex. Okay. Molten Giant. It's reasonable. Not a well. We do have a Defender of Argus, so that's nice, but. Kinda. Like sometimes it just sits in your hand and it's like. Then you can play it when it's already too late. I'm not picking this one, so it's gonna be that or the Molten Giant. This one has potential with stuff like Defender of Arcus or even Silverhand Knight as a Drake. You know what? Let's pick this one. Can't trust the Molten Giant. If I was a Warlock, I would pick the Molten Giant, but can't really harm myself as a Shaman. Okay, so let's get another 2 drop, especially since we have such, a, such, a, such an excellent one. Okay, now we're getting a little higher uh, full on two drops though. So, don't need so many more of those. Definitely not that one. We do need three drops, but probably not that one. So, let's go the one wind speaker. It can be nice to have one wind fairy giver in the deck. Let's go with a boulder fist. And, uh, well, so we have one, two, three, four, two drops. So we could get another one, and that's a good one. We don't need a 5 drop, we have plenty of those, so the salty dark, mm, no. Direwolf Alpha has a bit more value in Shaman than most decks because of the totems. And I'm not a huge fan of the other two. Venture Co is reasonable, but again, we have so many 5 drops already. Um, I think... Oh, we should got like a free drop here. If you don't need two drops or five drops, let's go with the Direwolf Alpha because we are Shaman, and it goes pretty well with stuff like Wind Fairy too. But yeah, uh, could have picked the other one. Those are pretty close in my mind. So we need a free drop. So let's pick that, and it's a pretty good free drop too. Uh, so, we don't have that many 4 drops either. Mm. Now let's get the Silver Moon Guardian. And here, yeah, I don't really like them too much. Dark Scale Healer is not that bad. Uh, the heal can come in handy to heal up your minions. And worst case, it's a Yeti that costs one more. Let's just go with it. We don't need 2 drops. Uh. Hmm. Another excellent 5 drop? Yeah, okay. <laughs> have so many of them though. Okay, so now we get a 3 drop. It's a pretty nice one if you have some overload cards. We only have one of them though. So... But I'm still gonna pick it since we are low on 3 drop. And let's get a Sunwalker. Another 6 drop. Where are our Fire Elementals? Hmm, I hope we can at least get one. Prefer two or more though. So let's get 
a flame tongue totem. I think Spectral Knight is a better card, but if you look at the curve here, we have so many five drops. It's insane, and we already have two Spectral Knights. Let's go with the flame tongue here. And oh, oh, this is ugly. We don't have that many um, battle crime minions, do we? Well, we have a few. Yeah, okay. Actually, we have a lot. Never mind. Yeah, okay. Don't like that one so much. But the Shield Baron. No, Dalaran Mage. It's so bad. I mean, barely have any spells. Like, none of these cards are good for this deck. Like, we have one damage spell. And that's it. One four for free mana. This one just messes us up. Shield Bearer? Well, I mean, it's... This one, it's basically the same card, except this one costs two more mana, it has one attack, and it buffs one spell. This one, I think it probably creates more problems for us than the enemy. I think we're gonna go with the Shield Bearer. I'm not happy about it, but at least we do have Flame Tongue and Die Wolf Alpha to help it out a little bit. Oh, and the Defender of Arcus, but that doesn't make me happy to see it. Okay, so we get a good free drop this time. Let's go with that. Bad free drop, bad one drop, good two drop. All right, let's go with two drop. Uh, hmm. Ah, let's go with this one. It's all right. Now we could use a four drop. Uh, and cold master can be very very good sometimes. Let's pick up the cold master. I hope the last card will be. No, the last card cannot be a fire elemental because it's at least a rare or better. Oh well, I guess no Fire Elementals for this deck. We are in trouble. I mean, Fire Elementals is what's supposed to make a Shaman good. Ah, well... I don't, we don't, I don't... Yeah, we barely have any one attack minions. I think it's gonna be the Echoing Ooze. Yeah, okay. Hmm... Not so sure about this deck. No AoE. No fire elementals. Curve. It's not that bad. It kind of got salvaged to curve. It, it's a little weak in 4 drops, but it has so many 2 drops. Plus totem, so you can always use a 2 drop on turn 4. Lots of 5 drops. Pretty good 5 drops, so. Overall, it's a reasonable deck, but no fire elementals, no glory. Let's go 6 wins. Maybe if I had like a. One like a fire elemental or a lightning storm or two or both would definitely lift this deck up a lot, but missing both of those makes it kinda rough. But I don't think it's that bad, so should be get able to get a few wins in here. Well let's see what we can do. I was really hoping to get some fire elementals though. Okay, I'll stop. I'll stop talking about them. Let's just play. Okay, so we have a two drop, a free drop, and a hex. Hmm. Oh, two two drops. So we could coin out a two drop. I think I want to coin out the Sapomatic. Well, it also depends if she plays like a two one or something, of course, then I'm not gonna coin out that. We'll see here. It's nice to get that one out uncontested though, so you can get some early damage in. Pretty good opening hand, definitely. Okay. Toss two cards back. Hopefully that's like a free drop and she was hoping to get a two drop and she didn't get it. Let's go with that. Alright, let's coin out the Sabum. Oh! The ooze is also very tempting with the Diabolf Alpha, because then if she plays a free 2, we can just trade uh, one of those into it. Ah, you know what? I think because I got that Diabolf Alpha, I'm gonna go with this play. Yeah. Now she plays like if she, if she plays like a Knife Juggler or something, we have like the perfect play coming up. But, let's see. Huh. 
Well, that's not perfect, is it? No, it is not. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I think we're still gonna... Um, I mean, we can kill that, which... And it's like, it's a 2-drop for 2-drop, but then we are left with a Direwolf Alpha on the board. But we do clear the board. Not exactly happy to see that chocolate though. Right, let's uh, clear the board here. Alright, fair enough. So far, things are pretty even. Let's play the Unbound Elemental here. Too bad we don't have our single uh, lighting bolt, but oh well. At least we could potentially pop it if we want to. Hmm. Alright, I think we're just gonna play a totem and... Well, I mean, we could buff it, but no, I mean, it makes it a 3-5, it's still... You can still kill it by running into it, and... I think we're gonna play this one. And a totem. And she'll probably kill that one with the Yeti. Then maybe... Maybe we'll even play Cold Master next turn. I will see. Not so happy about this anymore. The problem is with this one is that we just don't have any lightning balls or anything to buff it up with, so it's kind of lackluster in the deck overall. I wonder. Hmm. Cone of cold. All right. Huh. I can't really use the Cold Master now, but the Sludge Belcher is pretty good. Or... Well, the thing is, she can Fire Blast that. Could play the Defender, but... Mm, still... Well, it would stop her from Fire Blasting it. Just play this one. It fills up the curve better. And if she does Fire Blast, I mean, that's some mana gun. Maybe we should go for... ...more value-based approach. Um, you know... Um, I don't know, actually. Okay, let's just play this one for now. Just because it's mana efficient. And I want to go for the tempo rather than value here. I think it's usually more important in arena and it's not like we're gonna run out of cards anytime soon and if we play our cards right we can get a good cold master later right. okay so that's just one mana could try and get a better one mana creature but i think i'm gonna hold on to it for now could be very good on the cold master too actually um, so here, probably just play a Sunwalker actually, and kill one of those taunts. Yeah, Recon Bubble later, very good on Cult Master, potentially. Maybe. Ah, well, we'll see. I guess it's not... I mean, the thing is, you almost assume that it's always gonna die, like, the turn after you play it, especially versus a mage. Because otherwise, of course, letting it stay would also be good. If it could actually survive on the board. Okay. Well, now I wish I was a mage, I could do one damage to that. Um... It's always frozen. That's... Hmm. I don't really feel like there's any really 
could play this one and then recombobulate it and hope to get a good 5 drop. I just hope I could get this down on a better turn. We could play Defend of Argus here. Hmm, maybe Totem Defend of Argus? Because then, otherwise, you can run something into it and then Fire Blast to kill it. Um, we could play the Recombobulator. Like, we could play this into Recombobulator. We've only buffed one with it, but then we buffed this one up. Okay, you know what? Let's go with this here. Uh, I don't really feel like I'm not so happy with any of my plays these last few turns, but I guess we're still doing okay. All these things I would like to pull off, but the situation just doesn't really uh, come up where I can do any of it. I want a good cold pass to play someday. Of course, that requires to have minions we can attack with. Now, at least we can get that Recombobulator play on that one. So, as a Drake, hmm. Cold Master makes no sense here. Uh, let's play the Acid Drake. Let's, let's see what we get. Okay, let's kill that. And then, um, Recombobulate it. Hmm, okay, not bad. Not bad at all. Certainly better than a 2 free. So we're doing pretty good on value still. And we do have that Cold Master, so. Even though I feel like every turn is just kind of not going so great. I mean, if you look at the card, she only has 2. And here we have 5. We can clear the board rather easily. And. Maybe play the Cold Master too? You can finally actually get a card with it here. Huh, I think clearing the board is best. And uh, so let's do that. And if you're lucky, she doesn't have removal. I guess it is our first, first game with this deck, so... It could be... You know, it doesn't actually have to be a good player or anything. Hmm, where is our Hex? Well, she couldn't kill it, so we can just... We can just kill that. Um... Right, so... Let's just first attack that. A lot of damage, though. Wind speaker. Hmm... Hmm... I think I'm gonna hold on to that. So let's Who's next? kill that, play that, and that. And we're in a pretty good spot. We have Flame Tongue, Wind Speaker. We can do a lot of damage coming up. Yeah. Oh no! Oh. Oh, well, fair enough, I suppose. Uh, we can kill that. Oh, this is very interesting with Flame Tongue. Hmm. Oh, we also have... We can heal up after we kill... That one. Kill that one. Like this, and then... Um, Heal, tell them. I guess hope she doesn't have mind control tag. Alright. Got up to full health. That's nice. This one is very nice versus mages. Even if she like even if it didn't get the healing totem and it was at five, it's in case she had flame strike. She couldn't do the whole flame strike fire blast thing. I look like she almost has a mech deck, but not quite. Okay. I don't think we're too far off lethal, but 
You're not quite there, especially since we can't actually activate the Raging Vulcan this turn. So, not really. Um... Well, we have the Flame Tongue, we have the Wind Speaker. Flame Tongue, that's 5, it's 11, 15, yeah, it's so far off, uh, no point really thinking about it. Do we Hex here? I think we do. Um. Just do. Um. Wait a second. Could I have? No, that's a bad idea. Well, you know what? Let's not play another minion because if she top decks Flame Strike, I'll just lose everything. I don't think I played that turn correctly. Okay, I'm getting a bit too confident here. It's not impossible to lose here versus a mage. Because if she gets like flame strike and then starts top decking good stuff, then we could actually lose. But we'll probably win. We can um Wind speak next turn, then we have 18, 21 damage at the very least if she doesn't kill anything. I wonder. Alright. Seems like she's just wasting time now. We'll just grow some carrots while we wait for her 90 seconds to pass up. Oh, she did get that flame strike? Oh my. Oh wow. Well, at least I'm very happy we did not play the wind speaker. Jesus. Alright. Well, yeah. No, it's fine. Okay. So, we have 12. 15. I guess we kill that and go for the phase. No, we have reason to let it stay. That. 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 Heal up a bit. <laughs> I can't believe she actually got that flame strike though. It looks like we would have won even if we had played the wind speaker that turn, but that would have been a real bummer. Keeping the wind speaker certainly help. Get some wind fairy on that ogre. Mm. Alright. We have like another flame strike. That would be pretty amazing. I mean, last time she had that flame strike to clear the board, she just Your sat around waiting all the time. Okay, looks like we still have lethal here. Yeah, alright. She sees it too. Alright, good start. I kinda... I don't know. That game did not make me feel... great. I just... I feel like it was kinda... I never really felt very confident about my moves that game, so... Hopefully next game will be... like a feel-good game that makes me think like, oh wow. I'm so smart. Because that game didn't make me feel smart at all. Well, let's see. What do we have? Thrall versus Ulgan. And an axe. And a two drop. So let's keep those. See if we can get a three drop or something. If it, if it, if it was like in a v if it was constructed, I would definitely keep the lightning bolt. But I don't think I think I'm gonna look for like a three drop or something. And we already have some removal in the Stormforge. I would also have kept the Lightning Bolt if we didn't have that. Of course, the Lightning Bolt fares significantly better versus a free HP minion, but... I don't like to have too much removal in my hand. Because then if you don't play any minions, then you can't really do anything yourself. 
All right, so let's get that uh, Sapomatic out there. Oh, that would be fun. If he life taps here, we can play a flame tongue and do 10 damage. Hmm. I would probably do it. Shadow Ball. Okay, that's a good trade for us. He used a coin and everything. Unfortunately, we don't have a good follow up. And that is kind of why I like to have some minions. Hmm. So we can either play the become bubble later, or we can play a totem. But if we play the become bubble later, we might not really have anything to play next turn either. Plus, it's not an amazing use of it. So I think I like to just play a totem here. I'm not thrilled, but what helps me play that also is the flame tongue, because then we could this potentially. Let's see. All right. Oh, that's a chicken. <laughs> Alright. So, we can play, for example, Stormforged Axe plus Flame Tongue to kill something here. I wish we had that last turn, though. That would have been really good. Um, so, do we do that? I think we do. Uh, we play... Flame Tongue... X. Kill that. Kill that. Alright. Well, I could also just play the Flame Tongue and the Totem because now we are overloaded, so we can't play the Acid Drake. Oh no! Oh, I better hit that one because then our Healing Totem could have healed it back up. Uh, right. So let's see. If we just hex that one, yeah, I think it's just, it's kind of bad for business to have that one out there. Let's just hex it and play a shield bearer. Well, at least it's getting buffed here and, well, hopefully he doesn't have removal for the flame tongue. If he doesn't, oh no! Ah, those flame, they are bomb lovers, man. Haunting me. <laughs> well, I don't know. Which one drop would I really be hoping to get? Well, I guess any one drop that has one damage or more, which is most of them, could be useful. But I think instead we're just gonna play Scarlet Crusader and Raging Wolf. It fits the curve. And if you play to become become bubble later, well Yeah, don't really have a good combo there. Alright. Oh. That's a real pain. Um Right. I think I might have to run those two into it. But let's play the Acid Drake first. Okay. Join so, say we do that, because then we can kill that. And now, we could potentially recombobulate that one. Since a free one is kind of fragile. But I think instead we're gonna wait for maybe doing that next turn and play the Whirling Sapomatic this turn. Job's done. Yeah, maybe just hope he doesn't have a mind control tech or a dread infernal. Okay, doesn't look like he has either, thankfully. Uh, maybe we just trade that one into that. We come bubble it on this one, potentially. I mean, most 5 drops are better than a 4-4. Four, four. Um, you can also just play Spectral Knight plus Imp Master, of course. Trade this one with this one, because I think if he had the Dread Infernal, he would probably have played it this turn. Pretty good turn for it. Um, Imp Master just dies to this one, so that's... Maybe just toad him in Spectral Knight. Well, we could do... 
attack that. And then we can populate the fall one. Mm, Alright. That kind of works. And then we play the Spectral Knight. Yeah. Yeah. That's reasonable. We did low on cards though, so... Oh boy. Well, that's not good at all. He's hiding that Taika though. I'm not really sure why. Um, well, I guess he doesn't want me to buff this one up. He wants to kill that one with that or... We have a Diamond. Let's play a Totem. Hoping to get the Taunt Totem. Uh, not quite. I'm thinking of just kind of going for the face. We could do... Well, he has a lot of damage too, but we could do like... 5, 9... Oh, that one is really annoying. We should probably get rid of the first form of it. So if we do something like that... And... Um, just go for the face with the rest. Yeah, okay. Because we're getting him down to 11. Oh, maybe I should... Now, the thing is, I also wanted to make room for that. That's one of the reasons why I did it. Right. Well, I guess if he doesn't have AoE... We have a chance of just rushing him down. Is it a Sun Fairy or something? Nope. Alright, that chicken. Okay, so we have we have a lot of damage here. We have three, six, eight, ten. Are we? Yeah, we have one off lethal. Hmm. Probably buff this one up. But at the same time, okay, let's recount here. We have six, eight, ten. Yeah. One half lethal. I think maybe just going for it is probably good. Because he'll have he might not be able to kill all of it. Right. So let's do this, and that way he can't life tap either. We got some taunts up. Yeah, we got a pretty big taunt in that one. That didn't help very much, little imp master. Okay. Fair enough. Another force tank, but if he doesn't have a sun fairy... Nope, okay. Excellent. Alright, thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.